Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7 Part 2 Serpent Isle. Alright, let's uh, go in and uh, speak to Frigidazi. And opening this door, closed that door. Hmm. She's asleep, which means uh, this is a good opportunity to uh, steal some goodies. Uh, I've got fur boots and another magic helm. This is actually supposed to be our magic helm. So I'm not sure why we get a second one. We do want those fur boots, though, uh, for later. Uh, you've got a red cloak already, so... Why are you carrying spells? I didn't realize that you were... Oh, I do have a fire field spell. Ah, I completely forgot that I was giving you stuff. Whoops! Alright, well, um... Oh, she woke up. Traflagar! I love that the uh, uh, goblins s say things, but not in English. Oh, tis thee. Thou didst come. I cannot express how pleased I am to see thee again, Elmandretta. But this matter of the spells, it must be discussed in private. Only mages may hear the secrets which I am about to reveal. Wouldst thou please ask thy minions to depart? <clears throat> yes, minions, please depart. Minions. Hey, I'm not a minion. You are totally a minion, Iolo. Get the hell out. Um, no. Then I can be of no use to thee. Go. Targo. Targo. Golfog. Alright, let's try talking to her again. <laughs> it does it again. It does the exact same thing. That's good. Alright. Sure, why not? Um. I think I will wait outside. Have fun! I love the night. So quiet. So dark. Eh, that's great. I'm so glad that thou hast met me here, sweet Avatar. I find strangers appealing. She's combing her hair, uh, brushing her hair. Interesting. I feel so comfortable around thee. It is as though we have known each other before. Perhaps in some other existence? Mm, I don't think so. I think I'd have remembered you from uh, one of the previous Ultima games. Do not be formal with me, Elmadretta. Please, come join me here by the pool. Uh, yes, no, about those spells. So I think I might actually go through this a couple times because uh, um, uh, there are some funny things that can happen. Um... Let's start with the uh, the really nervous avatar. Uh, about those spells, why art thou in such a rush? In moonshade, we know to we know to mix pleasure with business. I am sure that there is a time for us to know each other better. Before this matter, I'm sure that there is time for us to know each other better. Before this matter of the spells must be conducted, thou shouldst learn to relax. Ow! To be blunt, there is something uncommonly erotic about thee. I am most attracted to thee, woman. Thou hast come to learn spells, but I can teach thee some true magic. Wouldst thou kiss me, Elmandretta? Yes, no, of course not! Thou dost disappoint me. I had hoped that thou wouldst be more receptive. Oh well, uh, sorry. Darling, I'm here. What is happening? What? Frigidazi! Why is the stranger in thy chambers? Darling, this is such a surprise. I, I have an explanation for everything. I am not daft, sorceress. I can see very well what thou what, what hath been happening here. What dost thou have to say in thy defense, Elmandretta? I'm guilty. I'm innocent. I'm leaving. <laughs> not so fast, peasant. I have a special punishment reserved for those who dare to play games with my mistresses. No, do not, Filbercio. Spare this one from thy wrath. Do not send her into the pit. I demand that this criminal be punished by the Council of Mages. Let the Quorum of Mages be convened instantly. Do not hurt her. This should be interesting. She's guilty. Uh, I missed what uh, uh, he said. Order in the court. We have convened this day to hear the case of Elmandretta, who hath committed treason. Oh, come on. How is sleeping with your woman treason? This criminal is charged with lusting after the mistress of the mage lord. I'm pretty sure this is the other way around. The mistress of the mage lord lusted after moi. Since when is that a crime? What what doth the lady say? Ha, she is not even sitting on that bench there. 
<laughs> I like Boyd in here, just in the middle of no, you know, just sitting in in uh, uh, in, in the in the air. <laughs> be silent, or thou thou wilt be sentenced. Thou uh, bleh, be silent, or thou too will be will be sentenced to the pit for thine insolence. Let me speak. I beg of thee, Mage Lord Filbercio, to spare this person's life. It was all my fault. Uh, it's her fault. It's my fault. Nothing happened. Say nothing. Um, yes, it's her fault. What a cad! This horse and thinks... Hey, hey, hey! That's whore daughter! Wait, no. Let's not go there. <coughs> thinks to escape punishment for the crime by blaming it all, uh, blaming it all on dear Frigidasi. Please be seated, Frigidazi. We shall now hear from the character witnesses. The good Busia. Mage Lord, this stranger came into my shop and asked many strange and personal questions concerning the sorceress Frigidazi. Uh, I don't remember asking you anything about Frigidazi, so that's a lie. How darest thou defame the good lady Busia, my dear, my good and dear friend? Adepts, be sure to remember this offensive behavior when it comes time to render your verdict. Let us hear from the next witness. Merchant Flindo, Lord Filbercio. Oh, I don't remember what voice I was giving him. I did travel with this person upon my recent voyage from the Inn of the Sleeping Bow, and I had many long talks with her. Uh, no, I don't think they were long. I must report that her character is not to be trusted. She is a liar, a fraud, and is known to consort with the people of the lowest type. Oh, like thyself? <laughs> totally doing this one. Sea lords, she doth have a wicked tongue, which is why Elmadreda is so often in great trouble. Um, this is my second sham trial, sir. That is why I am so frequently in trouble, because you people have no sense of justice. If you would just obey the Lord British... Oh, great, now I'm going to get it even worse. The only reason she came to Moonshade was to flee justice at the hands of the Knights of Monitor... I did nothing against the Knights of Monitor. In fact, I cleaned that city up. They accuse her of bribing the Tower Guards in order to release one of their prison. He's so dead. Thanks for thy witness, good merchant. Thou mayest be seated. Lords and adept, you have heard the evidence. Elmadreda did come amongst us like a disease to bring destruction upon us all. Hey! Worst of all, she hath dared to tamper with the affections of... She whom I hold most dear, the good sorceress Frigidazi. How do you judge her? For the crime of entering the bedchamber of the mage lord's mistress, we must find her guilty, mage lord. Guilty! And the sentence? As with all who offend the mage lord, this criminal must be sent to the hellhole known as Dungeon Freedom. Oh no! Not that place! She will never. She shall. She shall never be seen alive again! It shall be with the, with this criminal as with all others. If she can find her way back to the surface world, well, then she shall be a free woman. Enough of this jabbering. Let justice be done. Ow! What's going on? Keep thy wits, Avatar. Where am I going? And a treasure chest appeared behind me. Greetings, Felon. Thou art in the Mountains of Freedom, a magical prison from which none have escaped. I am the caretaker here. It is my duty to record thy name and crime. That's none of thy business. With thine attitude, I understand why thou art here. With what crime art thou charged? I don't know. I am certain that thou wilt discern it while thou art here. Perhaps yesterday's felon is still alive to aid thee in thy search for enlightenment. Let us see. Stefano was his name. Oh, hey! Uh, we're going to be looking for him. I will tell thee as I told him. Sleep passes thy time here, and will, may provide thee with new ideas for winning thy freedom. Thou shouldst be wary of two rogue mages who roam through these passages. They came here in search of the forbidden reagent Stoneheart, and never escaped. Be mindful of the other felons. Most are quite desperate by now, and will kill thee for what thou dost possess. In fact, they may prove to be thy greatest danger. There is another caretaker within the prison with a small supply of food and healing potions for sale, if thou dost need any. And if thou dost make it that far, of course. I make rounds periodically to note who hath died for the records. Thou mayest notice later that I take great care to memorize all who perish here, 
so thy passing shall not go unremarked. Remember, if thou canst find thy way out, thou wilt be free. Okay, well, um, we are basically naked. We have just a uh, scale armor. Uh, we do have our ring of reagents. We do have our key ring. We do have our spell book. We have a staff. We have a backpack with the uh, hourglass of fate and all of our regular reagents. So we can use magic at least. Um, but let's go ahead and reload here. And let's see what happens uh, if we choose some different options. I'm doing this mainly because uh, the different options are quite funny, I find. Don't! Damn it! You went to sleep. Oh, there we go. You woke up. I'm trying to sleep. Oh, it is thee. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and ask my minions to depart. Yes. Yes, you do that. Tagoflog! Someone's a little fishy. So quiet, so dark. Gonna brush your hair again. No. Ah, but thou art so shy. Perhaps I can encourage thee to join thee. Join me by use of a little spell. Vex Vini Nox, huh? To be blunt, there is something uncommonly erotic about thee. I am most attracted to thee, woman. Uh, let's see, I read that. Would th wouldst thou kiss me, Almandretta? No. Oh, ouch! Hey! She slapped me. Uh, now I'm gonna go with I'm innocent. A likely story. Listen here, swine. Thou art not the first to try to steal my favorite mistress. Um, and, uh, each time previous it was a different mistress, I imagine, sir. No, do not do with her what thou didst to the others. Pretty sure that's the same thing. Vas, Ibex, Ort. I don't want to be an Ibex. Of course, Flindo says she's guilty right off the bat, that jerk. Alright, so, uh, it's her fault. Let's say nothing happened. My fellow wizards, I am sure that you can, you are able to see beyond the, this criminal's denials. After all, I caught her in the bedchamber of dear Frigidazi. Please be seated, Frigidazi. We shall now hear from the character witnesses. Okay, Busia. Um, I was only curious. Such curiosity seems most impudent, considering that thou art a stranger in this land. A stranger in a strange land. Come on, I want to learn about it. Oh, and she did ask many questions about many other people and about strange objects which I was not familiar with. Hardly the act of the casual adventurer she pretends to be. Oh, come on, that is exactly the act of a casual adventurer. Or a professional adventurer, as the case may be. Let us hear from the next witness. And Flindo? Uh, I deny this charge. Denial will, not, will do thee no good, Elmendretta. Dost thou not understand that the Mage Lord will have his way? Thanks for thy witness, good merchant. Alright, let's uh, get our judgment. You're guilty, blah, 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 blah. Same thing. And we shall teleport there. We will hear from this guy. Okay, duty to record thy name and crime. Uh, I am the Avatar. I see. Perhaps thou could, couldst have pleaded insanity and avoided being sent here, felon. With what crime art thou charged? I am innocent. Ah, thou wouldst be surprised how many innocents come through here, Felon. Only yesterday we had another such innocent. Let us see. Stefano was his name. Okay, I think that is about all of the new stuff. So let's go ahead and load that up again. All right, and the final time, the real time, because it is the most fun time.
No, no, no. Don't, don't go to sleep yet. Thank you. Caught you. Shoot. I should have grabbed the items. Well, shucks. Ah, I can get them later. Oh, actually. <laughs> I shall take your key. Uh, Boyden shall take your other goodies. Sure, minions depart. Um, I will. I think I will wait outside. Eh, good for you, Boyden. Summon a little fishy. Yes, yes, yes. You find strangers appealing. Yes, perhaps we have. Uh, please come join me here by the pool. Sure. Okay. Do not be shy with me. To be blunt, there is something uncommonly erotic about about thee. I am most attracted to thee, woman. Thou hast come to learn spells, but I can teach thee some true magic. Wouldst thou kiss me, Elmandretta? Sure! Now that I have tasted thy lips, I think that mine infatuation with thee doth grow. Strange, t'was so cold in here when thou didst enter, enter, but now I feel suddenly warm. Um, maybe you have a fever. Maybe you want to call a doctor. It, it could be pretty bad. Oh, oh, that's not what you're talking about. I have not felt so alive. There's a spell that goes, I mean, the, a song by that, that title. Hmm. If only I could sing it. In many months. Haven't you been with the, uh, with Phil Bercio in the meantime? Oh, he's... He has trouble, shall we say. Oh, oh my. Perhaps, I'm not sure how to say this, but... Dost thou desire my body avatar? Uh, yes, no. What about Phil Bercio? I'm not that kind of girl! Oh, I forgot about these options. Um, what about Phil Bercio? The mage lord? Oh, how, how canst thou think of him when the two of us are here together, becoming intimate? Perhaps this shall arouse thine interest. Est nudi. Oh my! C can I get that spell? What circle is that in? I I'd like that in my spell. I, I can't, can I? Beware, Elmandretta. I shall now begin the dance of passion, which no mortal can resist. Gosh! Oh my! Vox Erratus. Uh, did you, did you fall down there, lady? Ort Erratus. Oh! No mortal can res resist the dance of passion. Tell me that thy blood hath been stirred to a frenzy. Uh, well, no. No, thou dost not understand. As I said, no mortal can resist the dance of passion. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and where are thy clothes? Darling, this is such a surprise. I have an explanation for everything. Uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let me pause it. I'm gonna get back to some of those uh, uh, previous options. It's it's just too good. I love this part of the game. It's it's the the options that they put in are great. I love them. I'll be right back. All right, let's uh, let's get back to where we were before. Dost thou desire? Dost thou desire my body avatar? Nope. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I could just die. Uh, it doesn't look like anything, uh, different. I'm innocent. Alright, so let me, uh, pause it again. Well, actually, let's see. She did actually say something slightly different. I'm hoping that we get, uh, um... Uh, that dance of passion again. Because she did say something different here. Spare this person's life. It was all my all my fault. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, let's actually do the say nothing one because uh, uh, I think I'm going to go with the it's my fault when. Well, let's see, let's just go with it's my fault. So you ever heard it from her own mouth? 
Please be seated, Frigidazi. We shall now hear from the character... Okay, so we're gonna go right into the character witnesses anyway. I, I was I was afraid that that might um, skip past all of that, but it doesn't. Alright, I shall return shortly. Alright, let's have some uh, fun. I'm not that kind of girl. Do I detect a note of disapproval? Well, I don't have to take that from anyone. Pig! Ouch! And he appears and he's sitting down. I like that. <laughs> What, Frigidazi? Why is this stranger in the chambers? Uh, I think that, uh, we can pause it again here, and we'll come back, and, uh, um, let's see. I think we've done everything but yes. So, I think the music is a little off. So I'll be, uh, right back, and, uh, we'll try this again with one of the other options. Alright, let's, uh, Try this again. Um, let's see. Dost thou desire my body avatar? Why, yes, I do. Then watch this, my love. Est nudi. It, seriously, can can I get that in my spellbook? Beware, Almandretta. I shall now begin the dance of passion, which no mortal can resist. Gosh. Oh my. Love that Voxeratus. <laughs> Or to Aratus. Oh! No mortal can resist the dance of passion. Tell me that thy blood hath been stirred to a frenzy. Uh, yes! I cannot resist. Likewise. But wait! Thou hast forgotten this! Huh? I'm cold. Kiss me again. Certainly. We need not these blankets. Okay. Ah. Wow. I think that I am falling in love with the Elmadretta. How did I ever live without thee? Kiss me again, love. I cannot resist. Darling, I'm here. What? Frigidazi, why is the stranger in thy chambers? And where are thy clothes? Darling, this is such a surprise. I, I, I have an explanation for everything. I am not daft, sor daft sorceress. I can see very well what thou... What hath been happening here? What? Look, I was sick! Give me a break! She was taking care- you, you don't- you don't believe me, do you? Damn it. What dost thou have to say in thy defense, Elmadretta? Uh, I'm guilty. I knew it! Oh, Elmadretta, thou shouldst not have said such a thing. The wrath of the mage lord is legendary. I'm pretty sure I'd have gotten this, the, the same treatment no matter what. I demand that this criminal be punished by the council of mages. Let the quorum of mages be convened in instantly. Whee! Well, at least I have my clothes back. Alright, uh, let's see. Done these. Let me speak. I beg of thee, Mage Lord Filbercio, to spare this person's life. It was all my fault. After all, no mortal can resist the dance of passion. It's my fault. See, you have heard it from her own mouth. Please be seated, Frigidazi. We shall now hear from the character witnesses. And we go through all of the same stuff. So, let's say nothing. Aha! The cat doth not even rise in her own defense. She must be guilty. Let us hear from the next witness. Alright, so, uh... Not to be trusted, blah, 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 blah. However, if we say nothing... Yes, she was a good traveling companion, able with a sword and with sword and bow. So I ask for thy leniency, Mage Lord. Thanks for thy witness, good merchant. Thou mayest be seated. Okay, and then everything else is pretty much the same. And we teleport through. We lose all of our stuff. And if we say, I am Elmandretta, My condolences on thy sentence here, Elmandretta. With what crime art thou charged? Angering Filbercio. Ah, thou art in fine company then, felon. Only yesterday we had another such felon arrive. Let us see. Stefano was his name. I will tell thee as I told him. Okay, it's the same thing. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. 
So let's turn off Hack Mover. All right, so we have limited resources right now. Uh, let's go ahead and put our key ring away. Let's put our uh, ring away just so that I can use up my... Uh, uh, my spells, uh, my my reagents, don't really need them. Um, good question of what I want to use. Explosion might be good. Um, I guess I'll go with flash. Okay. Well, <coughs> we've got a. Uh, Sign here, inmates must work. Let's actually talk to this guy, see if we have anything more to... Yes, felon. Tis gratifying to see that I shan't have to collect thy skull yet. Such stamina shall be useful to thee here, certainly. But thou shouldst journey further into the mountain soon, felon. The only source of food and water lies deeper in the heart of freedom. If thou canst pay for it. Forgive me if I do not linger. I have many things to attend to before I can begin my rounds. Remember, if thou canst find thy way out, thou wilt be free. Okay, well, uh, we do start off by finding some bread. Uh, we've got uh, a bag with uh, a watch. Uh, 15 lockpicks, that'll be handy. Let's go ahead and grab that. We've got present gold for food. See, so we've got two books here. Mine Experiments by Teldrono. This book belongs to Teldrono the Mage. For thee, Bright Reader, I have been deep in the heart of darkness in search of the way. The way to reverse the, or even negate the effects of blood spawn hath been my quest. Um, have we read this one? Well, let's read it again, because I'm not sure. Uh, we don't have much time left in the episode anyway. <coughs> uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Stoneheart is also on my mind. Thou art right. So so right. By the way, dear reader, if thou shouldst know how to obtain some, contact me immediately. I thank thee in advance for thy kindness. Let us begin, for I am losing track of what thou art interested in. Thou art not afraid of dying, art thou? Well, then I shall proceed, and tell thee what all this truly concerns. The more I would, exper the more I would experiment with it, the closer I would... Mm, excuse me. Come to success. That was mine intuition. Well, I must admit it did not work. Bloodspawn is bound to have some side effects. I do not know which yet. The heart of the matter, if I may say so, dear reader, is that thou art about to take possession of a secret. Darkness may fall upon thee at the very same time. I recommend thou beest extremely careful. A fatal accident is easily triggered when manipulating these forces. In the heart of the mountain, I found the red-orange mineral. I, contact I collected samples, and after many a transformation, I turned it into the forbidden reagent. Thou art certain, dearest reader, that thou fearest death no more? I want to make it clear this is nothing like what thou hast seen before. Many a mage's life was taken away. How did I turn it into a powerful magical reagent, thou askest? Yes, indeed, how? Oh, I remember, thou hast only to crush it into a fine powder. Then thou dost combine the powder with the fresh with fresh human blood. Tis just so. Tis this powerful reagent, too powerful for my fellow mages who were fools enough to lose their lives, enables, enables thee to create some spells. It might make possible the spells to flay my men's minds, or set swords to dan into dancing death, or to decimate entire cities. Mass death, well, think of it. Thou mayst be able to make matter disintegrate, and even call lightning to thy surface, if I recall correctly mine experiments. These are the powers of blood spawn. Actually, I think we did read this one. Oh, I'm halfway through it already. Dear reader, thou art now ready to experiment, or ready to lose thy life. Remember how careful thou shouldst be when carrying it. Finding safe means to avoid the blood spawn side effects of, is of primary concern. Herein I did give thee all thou wilt ever need to know. Thou mightest want to be prepared for fits. Experimenting with blood, stone, blood spawn and stone heart would trigger numerous disorders. Many a time did I attempt to delay the onset of the fits, all in vain, alas. The future doth, that doth not seem to be a long, shining path. I even wonder how long I will remain sane. Thou art the reason why, reason why I wrote such a book, dear reader. It is for thee to read and for thee to take our place once I be gone. This powerful knowledge painfully extracted from the heart of darkness must outlive us. Thou shalt continue. Okay. And Lord British's tyrannical adventure. I'm pretty sure we've read that one. Let's see. Oh, we have some goodies. Uh, I got some fur boots. 
Oh, don't those look nice? We've got uh, some leather gloves. Let's wear those. And some pants. Excellent. Leather pants. Fantastic. And we've got a kidney belt. Kidney belt might be better than the bag on the belt. Okay. Uh, let's see. The scythe might be better than what we've got. Uh, what was the sign? Form one line. All right. Can we pick it? Can we key it? Nope. I did try them on a door. Okay. So we're we looking for a key here. What about? Oh, come on, game. Hmm. Alright, there wouldn't happen to be something under here, would there? Nope. Hmm. Well, we want to get in there. Uh, I think we might have to wait until he uh, walks in and out. Uh, let's see. It is 1.45 a.m. Um, so I think we'll have to do that in the next episode. Until then, um, might go just go rest. That might be the best thing to do until... Uh, um, this guy decides to open this door. Because I did see him open the door before, I just didn't realize it was locked in the first place. Anyway, uh, I shall see you in the next episode.